right, so I'm back again. Been to the bank, got my money. So I'm just going to part two. Didn't want you folks seeing my pin number, you know what I mean? It's a dangerous world out there. And, uh, oh, by the way, one more subject. I got a message from some. I can't remember who they were now, but I'll, I'll post that a bit later maybe if I remember. But basically, they were saying how much I like my videos and blah blah blah. Really great music you put on there. And all this stuff. Uh, we would like to sponsor you, blah blah blah, and all this shit. Now, I've never put any music on my videos, so it really stinks. Oh, and the, the IP address was somewhere in Africa as well, and that set the alarm bells ringing. So be warned. If you get some people from Africa saying they really like you and want to sponsor you, you know, don't do it because they'll probably ask you in bank details and rip you off. Um, I'm going to try and remember who it is, I'll put it up in the details, but I didn't trust them for shit. And uh, I've already on the subject of YouTube, um, I'm not going to mention his name because that's not very nice, but there was a certain young lad, I think he's young, he sounded young, could be wrong. Basically, he was saying, you know, you know, should you become a uh, uh, a vlogger, you know, a video log? And uh, his answer was basically no. You know, you know, he made some good points. Don't do it if you want YouTube views and all this shit. No different wrong reasons. But he basically said, look, you've got to be a certain type of person to do it. In which. You know, there is some logic to that. However, who the hell is here to say, no, you should be doing it. Look, if you want to do it, you go and do it. Regardless of what any fucker says. You know? Even if you just get on your bike, don't say a fucking word and go up to the shops and back, who cares? If that's what makes you happy and you want to post that, post it. You know, this world's too small for people to be telling you what to do. And your life's too short. If you ain't doing the wrong, if he doesn't like it, don't fucking watch it, simple as that. You know? Don't be wrong, I like most of the content he does. I do like his stuff. But that really hurts me. I'm still going to watch his stuff, I am. But, you should just be careful not to throw stones, you know? Because, phones could be stuck thrown back. People in glass houses and all that shit. really pissed me off. You know, this is only, I've only made a handful of videos. I've only put two on YouTube, but I've made a couple. I and mean, I haven't put them on because I didn't like them, but so if I don't like it, I won't put it on. It's simple as that. That's my choice. I'm not just going to put anything I want on, because that would be stupid. You know, and at the same point, I don't expect the world to go out and view what I put out there and say how great I am, because it's not great. I'm just a bloke on a bike, talking shit. There's far too much pretension over this shit, there really is. You know, and I get it, I understand there are people out there doing this to make a, make, I don't know, make sort of, I don't know what they want to do, make themselves famous or infamous, make money, I don't know how much money you can make. You know, those kind of people are far and few between. You know, you've got people like Jake the Snake. Now, he hasn't gone out to do, you know, make money, you know, like, to make money and stuff. That's just a byproduct of the stuff he puts out there. He just goes out there and talks what he wants. You know, what's on his mind? But people are going out there trying to replicate that, thinking they're going to become an overnight success and stuff. Don't you read it? Yeah. And I suspect people will probably watch me now saying that, oh, well, you've only done three videos, you'll probably try and do that. Well, no, that's what you want to think, you think it. But it's not true. I did this because I enjoyed watching other people out there. And uh, that made me want to be part of it. I just wanted to, you know, it felt like a social network and I wanted to be part of that network. And that's why I'm doing it. Some people, you know, do it themselves. I'm not fussed about social network, but I think you kind of, to 
post something, you know, and to be honest, this is quite a personal thing you're sharing. Doesn't matter what you're talking about, it's all a personal feeling, so it's a personal subject matter you're sharing. And if you didn't want to put that on YouTube, then you wouldn't. So I think you must want to share a part of yourself with other people, you know, public networking stuff. Otherwise, what's the point? I say the more the merrier. You know, I've met some people over YouTube, they've been good guys. Very good guys. You know, we're not going to be lifelong friends or anything. But, you know, you might go out for a burn up. Whatever. You might go for a meet. Just open your eyes to new stuff. Don't be afraid. You know, I get shit at the moment so I'm doing this. My wife's like, I want to see your stuff. And uh, I think she wants to see my stuff. I haven't showed her to be honest at the moment. I'm a bit embarrassed, I think. Uh, I haven't shown my son either again because I'm embarrassed. Uh, I'm not embarrassed to show you people because, you know, no one might be watching. Um, and if people are watching, I probably don't know them. So it's no, you know, no feelings of hurt there. But your family and friends, they can hurt your feelings. You know? And my wife doesn't understand why, why I do it doesn't so she won't understand what I'm talking about and she would just rip me a new one where's that coming from Hang on. Ah. now that the sound on that was traveling really weird it sounded like it was uh, coming from the front not behind which is pretty weird we really not to the lane here I think so yeah I'm gonna have to show my wife at some point and there's just gonna be a case of I'm just gonna have to uh, take it accept it for what it is and uh, I'm sure she'll laugh at me I just have to get let her have a laugh let her have a laugh at me you know it's not bad it's alright for people to go boy he's an intelligent man he's got intelligent shit to say and he's got a bunch of stuff to hear to say and stuff you want to hear me, I'm just a gibbering twat. You know? So we're almost at my destination. I'm going to pick my wife's car up. Because uh, it failed the MOT in spectacular fashion, as I knew it would. So I'm going to get bad news on that. Sorry, mate. Until next time folks, I'll see you later.